In our society, strength, or at least imagined strength, is applauded. And weakness is thought of as a defect. It means that you miss the best in life. I believe that faith is the most important thing in the world, by which I mean that faith is the link between ourselves and a God of transforming love who saves us from sin and folly and ultimate disaster, who brings us into a life of joy and peace and wisdom and fruitfulness. Faith means quite simply trusting him by believing what he's told us. That the right way to go is to choose this. But you're inclined to choose, you want, uh, in one sense of the word want anyway, you want to choose that because you feel that the short term uh, benefits will be greater and um, it, there, there, there would be a cost involved in choosing what's right. And I think that when people make choices like that, they are moving towards either, well, Christ and heaven, or Christlessness and hell, or godlessness and hell. James Enel Pecker, very well known as J.I. Pecker, dies at the age of 93, a few days before his 94th birthday. Pecker was born on the 22nd of July, 1926, in England. Pecker's death is believed to be a natural death. At the age of seven, Pecker was hit by a truck while he was being chased by a bully from a school he was attending. Pecker says they feared that his brain might have suffered due to the accident. In 1944, Pecker was converted and submitted to Christ as Lord. Pecker has written a number of books and articles for more than half of his life. He has written books like Knowing God, Finishing Our Course with Joy, Abiding in Christ, and more other books. Pecker was influenced by men such as C.S. Lewis, John Calvin, John Owen, and more. This is a quote from J.I. Pecker that I got from Crossway's article on remembering Pecker. Um, quote, as I look back on the life that I have lived, I would like to be remembered as a voice, a voice that focused on the authority of the Bible, the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the wonder of the substitutionary sacrifice and atonement of our sins. I would like to be remembered as a voice calling Christian people to, to holiness and challenging lapses in Christian, moral, in Christian moral standards. I should like to be remembered as someone who was always courteous in controversy but without compromise. I, I, I ask you to thank God with me for the way that he has led me and I wish, I hope, Pray that you will enjoy the same clear leading or the same clear leading from him and the same help in doing the tasks that he sets you that I enjoyed. And if you and if your joy matches my joy as we continue in our Christian lives, well, you will be blessed indeed. Pekka died on the 17th of July. 2020, that was on a Friday.